Hello everyone and welcome back. This is me letting you know Ryan has updated to Minecraft 1.20. As you can see, it works perfectly fine here and you can see that this is my game version. Uh, 1.20.0 works perfectly fine and it should also work for 1.20.1 so you don't have to worry about that. So in this video, I am number one going to ask you to subscribe, maybe, please, because I'm showing you how to do this. I'm giving you a huge favor basically so I totally appreciate it if you could subscribe um, I'm going to show you how you can download Horizon. I'm going to show you how you can eject it for 1.20 and just the basics of how to use it so you can get started anyways this is Horizon.download, Horizon's official website you can find it in the top of the description and you want to click on the green download button here that is automatically going to download Horizon injector as you can see in the bottom left of my screen and this is also automatically going to be the one that works for Minecraft 1.20 Next, you can launch up Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.20.0 or 1.20.1, either is going to be absolutely fine. And here in my downloads, as you can see, I have the Horizon Injector. You can double click on that to launch it, and then you can just click away your downloads, right? And then you're going to click on the big green inject button right over here. It's going to need to download the DLL first, um, however... After that, as you can see, it is automatically going to inject it for you. If you're injecting it for the first time, you'll get the change log right up here, um, and you'll see stuff. So, you know, item related commands will still only work in local worlds, sadly. So, you know, you can all go into the comments and ask me if slash give works or dot give works and stuff like that, or why it is broken. They're all broken, all those commands, they'll only work in local worlds. Um, anyways, we do have 1.20 support, as you can see. As you guys can see, I just quickly loaded into a random world for you guys, and um, in here, you're automatically going to see that Horizon is enabled. Anyways, the first thing you want to do is just go into the chat, then type in a dot, then bind, just like that, then click GUI, spelled exactly like this, then a space, and then whatever key you want. Some people prefer the F key, some prefer the Y key. You can do whichever one you want. You can do the K, you can do literally any key on your keyboard. Probably don't do the W, because that's also the forward key. So just bind it to anything which you don't currently have a use for. I'm going to bind it to Y, then I'm going to click on Enter, and then as you see, Horizon says that the key bind of clicked UI is now Y. And as I said, you can choose any key here that you want. What happens now when I click on Y is that the hack menu over here comes up. Now all of these will have a description, some useful, some a little yet less useful. Down in the bottom left, as you can see, you can click on these to turn them on and you can click on them again to turn them off. Um, basically that. You can click on the whatever key you bound it to to turn the hack menu on and the hack menu off. And you see in the top left and top right of your screen, there's going to be stuff there. Um, you can actually turn those off just like this um, if you don't want those being there. Anyways, um, basically, that is quickly how to use Horizon. I do have a very in-depth tutorial on how to do that as well, which I will have linked in the description below for you guys. However, for right now, I'd definitely appreciate it if you subscribed. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.